Hey everybody, happy Monday. Today I'm going to talk about gagging and dentures. The struggle is really real. I never had that issue, but I know a lot of people that do. Like, I don't know, I'd say 70% of people have gagging issues with their dentures. So, this is a top denture. It's acrylic. And mainly what happens with the gagging, and people don't know this, but it is the back part of the palette here that causes the gagging issues. What it does is it puts pressure on the soft tissue back there where the nerves are activating the gag reflex. So what we can do to combat it is actually ask your dentist, your denturist, prosthodontist, whoever's helping you with your dentures, ask them to help shave this down for you because believe it or not, a minor adjustment in this back area right here is gonna make all the difference. And less is more. So just little steps at a time, have them shave it down, try it in, see if you can actually get that gag reflex to go away because bringing that a little bit shorter will make all the difference. The other thing that you can do is ask for a horseshoe denture. What's that? Well, what it is, it's a regular denture like this, but they cut the roof out. They cut this middle palate area where the roof of your mouth is, they cut it out. Now, there's pros and cons to it. One, the pro is not having the gagging issue because it's not hitting those nerves back there. You get the roof of your mouth back, which means that food tastes better, things like that. It's not, you know, like a hockey puck in your mouth. The downside about it is that not everyone keeps the suction. And sometimes people only have to wear adhesive when they're eating with a horseshoe denture. Some people, they have to wear adhesive all the time with it. So it just depends on the person and how well the denture fits if they need the adhesive or not. I know people that don't wear adhesive at all with their with their horseshoe dentures, and I know people that wear it all the time and in the middle, depending on what their activity is. So it really depends on the person. But that's a really great way to combat it as well. So there is alternatives out there, and you don't have to live with this gagging issue. You really should be able to wear your dentures without gagging constantly. Now, I feel for the people out there who, no matter what they put in their mouth, they're going to gag. I don't know what the solution is for that, and I wish I did, um, because I would share it with everyone. But if you're like me, kind of a do-it-yourself kind of person, and you're feeling motivated, I just want to warn you, just on the side of caution, less is more. It really is. You just want to do a slight little sanding back here. You don't want to take off a quarter inch of your denture a little bit at a time. I know it'll be hard, but just taking off a tiny little bit at a time can make a really big difference. So just little bits. Keep trying it. Keep trying it until you get the right amount. So what I noticed between my temporary denture, which was mail order, and the denture that I have now from a lab is that my temporary denture was actually shorter. It didn't go as far back into the roof of my mouth as the one that I have right now. So I don't know if it was just on it because they were temporary or if it's just the way that he makes them. What I've seen is that he actually just makes them shorter um, as a standard in his lab. So I don't really know. I'm just going off of what I've seen. So ask about that. Ask them to, to shave down the back of your palate. Ask them about a horseshoe denture if you're interested in it. A lot of denturists and dentists, they don't like the horseshoe denture because once you take the palate out, you can't put it back you have to get a full rebase on your denture. So just think, just remember that, that you, you know, it is, it is a permanent situation unless you want to fully rebase your denture. Um, but it's an option for people. I'll, I know a lot of people that would rather take the horseshoe denture and have to wear adhesive to get rid of the gagging problem. So if you guys want any links or information or whatever, go ahead and comment in the comment section. I'll be happy to share what I have with you guys. If you're interested in the next video, definitely subscribe and it will notify you when the next one comes out. So this week I'm going to try to put out enough, um, a bunch of informational videos to kind of just help you guys out of things that I've learned, things that I've gathered, questions people are asking me, and just really put out some information for you guys so it can help you guys kind of get through this process a little bit. So anyway, here you go. That's what I know about gagging and I will try to help you guys out as much as I can. Have a good day.